Hey there. Okay, so you decided you're going to buy a home. That's very exciting. Lots to think about. I hope that these tips that I've learned over the many years in real estate will help you and stick around to the end because I've got a fun little nugget to share with you that you'll always remember. The first thing that I'll speak to you about is just an overview of your dream home essentially because that's you're going to have a wish list that goes without saying we need to sort of fine tune that wish list and it's a fun time but it can be very overwhelming as well and side note if you are buying the house on your own then pretty easy right you only have to fight with yourself however if you're buying a home with somebody else one point that i think is great is both of you sit down and write your wish list, your what you like, what you don't like, what you can live with, what you absolutely cannot live with. And it'll be interesting. It's kind of fun when you're done and you both sort of look at each other's lists and it's like, what? I didn't know you didn't like gray brick. <laughs> yes, things like that come up. Uh, definitely take some time to really think about what would be your ideal home. First thing, the most important part of real estate, we all know that word, <laughs> it's location. So where do you want to live? That is a very important question. And it's something that you need to consider because wherever you choose to live, you're probably going to be there a good amount of time. You're going to live there many years. Most people do. And you just want to be happy. You just want to really have a good feel for the neighborhood you're looking in. And what does that mean? It means driving there on the weekends or being there after school or just really immersing yourself. And then you also have to think about anything you're going to need. So doctors, dentists, mechanics, having either someone you know who lives there who can refer you to people or just a basic feel for that area goes a long way. So make sure the location that you've chosen is pretty close to where you want to be. Another thing to consider is if the market is very, very hectic, so places are going very quickly, that I want you to have a broader search so that every possible thing will fall into the search that I set up for you. The worst thing is to make your search too tight and then you're missing out. If it's a really hectic market, or if you're just starting and you're not quite sure exactly where you want to land, make your search as wide as possible. I can always change it. These searches are very easy to change as your desires and preferences change with it. But try and get as many things into that basket of new listings that show up in your email every day so that you can at least have a good look at what's going on in the area. A larger basket full of homes is going to show you some of the value, you know, okay, so this type of house with this many bedroom sells for this much. It's something that's critical. Use, use the realtor, use me. Like I can modify that search any which way you like and just look at it that you're learning about the market in the area that you want to live in. Here's a nugget in any market. When you get listings from me, your, your agent, but when you get listings in your inbox and you're thinking about it, you're like, oh, I'm going to have to show so-and-so that, or maybe we can get out this weekend and we can go look at it, or I really like this one. I wonder what will happen with it. Reach out to me. Tell me. Even better, book a showing. Book a showing for, you know, just pick a time that you think you can make it. Maybe it's going to be in seven days or ten days. It's fine, but we can book a showing. That way you are in the queue and I am in the queue with you. If all of a sudden there's an offer on the property, guess what? Most agents are going to reach out to me right away and say, Hey, Kim, you've got a showing booked for next Saturday on this house, but I got an offer coming in today, or I've got an offer coming in tomorrow at noon. Do you want to tell your folks? So then I can reach out to you right away. You're aware that the offer is coming in more so than someone who didn't book a showing. Worst case scenario, you don't, you call me the next day and you go, Hey, Kim, can we book next Saturday? I go to book and guess what? The house is sold and you missed out. No one knew you were interested. 
always tell me if you're thinking of a house, whether you're going to see it or you're not going to see it. And I can reach out to the agent to make sure when an offer comes in, we're going to know about it more so than anybody else. And this happened to me three weeks ago and we got the house. I hope you enjoyed this. I love this. I never get tired of it. I don't know. I think I always say I have some kind of sickness. I never get tired of helping people buy homes. I have another video somewhere here. It's going to pop up and I invite you to watch it. More buyer tips. I do this only because I love what I do. I'm a full-time realtor and the main goal of this channel is just to have some fun in real estate present as much information as possible to help you with your real estate. And my goal really just doing real estate better. So thank you so much. I hope you like, I hope you subscribe and we'll talk to you soon.